I've just finished rebuilding the C63, finally. And now we're at Mercedes, where it's got to go back because of this. I bought this C63 for £10,000 last year in hopes to rebuild this thing and get it back on the road. But it left me thinking, have you ever bought something with your heart and not your head? I definitely bought this car with my heart. I've had to change dashboards, fix warning lights, I've fitted Black Series body kits, all for it just to break down when I took it on the road for the first time. Well, we're bound to get some issues. But, but in the last video, I finally got it on the road for good. And it was so close to being done. But today, well tonight, we leave the C63 here at the body shop where it's gonna stay for around one month. We have all waited in anticipation for this to be done, but today is the day. So many weeks have passed and the C63 is finally ready and I can see it in front of me. It looks absolutely mental. This is it. <laughs> Okay, so before we even start, it's not finished just yet, but we are gonna finish the whole thing in this video. One thing, the wheels, but the color is absolutely next level. This color is from, what's it from? Can't remember. A BMW M3 G80, the new BMW M3. We chose the green to go off that. And now this whole kit looks immense in this color it pops so nicely this was well and truly worth the wait but we are not finished just yet which brings us on to our next place i've missed the cold start come on <laughs> let's get this thing back i'm absolutely chuffed to bits with the color of this it looks so good but there is so many more things we need to get through including all of these warning lights what a transformation already for the C63. And there's still plenty to get through. Which is why we've came to this place. Of course, we've came to Wheelmania and it might look a little different to usual because this is their second branch, their brand new one. And the first one of my cars to get the Wheelmania treatment is the C63 and it desperately needs it. Look at this positive offset stock wheels and with the Black Series kit, it's just not doing it. So as the sign says, we seem to be in the right place. The Black Series kit is 70 mil wider at the rear and 30 mil wider at the front. So we're gonna need wheels to sort that. I gave the guys a rough idea of what I wanted and let them do the rest. But I'm gonna pass the camera over to Hannah. It's your turn for the camera. Right, you've got to get out. <laughs> so we can put the wheels on. Okay, if that look good. Hannah and you guys are going to see the wheels for the first time before I see them fitted to the car. Oh yeah, they look sick. I'm assuming these are them. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea at all what they were going to look like. Not even the colour or anything. Yeah, he's going to like them. Do you know what? Like, I'm thinking they look easy to clean as well. <laughs> So here it is. Will these wheels fix the fitment issue? And I'd like to say whilst we're here at Wheelmania Mark II, they not only do an amazing selection of wheels, they also do wheel refurbishments, which you guys can get a discount on using code MAT10. Okay, I'm ready, I'm outside. I'm expecting it to be like a, a monster truck because we've not got aftermarket suspension on just yet, but we'll, we'll see. And I can't remember what wheels I ordered because it's been so long. It's been literally a year since we first bought this car, so... Here we go. <laughs> oh, that looks sick. We do definitely need to go a little lower, but the fitment is way better than I thought because that arch gap... That arch gap needed filling. Yes. Oh, that is literally... How much does that transform the car with the set of wheels? That's mental. Again, another car, another dream turned into reality. The C63 Saloon Black Series version transformed by Wheelmania. This is looking so good. And these wheels aren't far off the stock sort of 
wheel look but just a little extra bit of sauce a little bit of extra sharpness in the spokes as well yes we need to lower it that may be to come but look at that i'm absolutely buzzing with it please guys if you need some wheels for your cars check out the link in the description box below wheel mania are always here they are not moving but one thing that we do need to move and shift now is that suspension Tomorrow morning, we are booked on for a dyno slot because we need to get this thing tuned to remove that engine management light. But right now, the C63, as good as it looks, has fitment issues. But we're about to fix that for you. BC, oh, I pulled the back out. <laughs> BC racing coilovers, it's about nine o'clock at night tonight. We've got to be on the dyno at half eight tomorrow. Me and Liam, who's behind the camera, we're going to get these fitted and that should drop this thing, hopefully to the right height. It looks like we've got to lower the front by around 30 millimeters and then on the rear, around 20 millimeters for this to be perfect. So it's up in the air with the C63 and then we could start work with a time schedule in mind. But it doesn't look like it's gonna be that hard of a job. The drop link has got to come out, then there's one bolt at the top of the damper connected it to the wheel hub, and then there's also two other bolts holding the damper to the wheel hub. First off is the drop link then the big bolt holding the damper to the wheel hub, and then the two other bolts at the bottom holding the damper to the wheel hub. Once they're connected, we can bring the car down, and then there's three bolts on top, and once they're removed, we can pull the suspension away. Aye. And this is what we're gonna be replacing it with, the BC Racing fully adjustable coilovers. You can adjust the ride height with these, the dampening and the camber as well. A nice bit of kit for just under a thousand pounds. But right now, we're making good time on getting this suspension on. Now, it doesn't matter how much time, effort and money has gone into this C63. It still is and always will be a crash damaged car. But that doesn't bother me because we know where the damage was and we know we've repaired it. But if you're going to look at a crash damaged car which has been repaired, or in fact any car, you should probably check it out using Car Vertical first to avoid any nasty surprises. Car Vertical works in over 20 different countries and let me show you the stuff that it could uncover about a car that you're potentially about to buy. Just take a look at this report I did on another C63. After you put a registration in, this is what you're going to see. I can see a green tick that there's been no mileage fraud, a green tick that has not been recorded as stolen but an amber light to show that this car was involved in an accident, but also a green tick to show there's been no outstanding finance. As I scroll through the report, I can find even more information on the car. I can see that this car was exported in 2019 and there was damage detected on it in 2019 and 2020 as well in England. So I have no idea what's going on there. And I can see here if there's been any mileage fraud and it looks like the clocks have had maybe a mistake in 2020, but. We're not quite sure, so we have to take that noted. And down here is the juicy part. There's two reports for damage on this C63. And what's even better, I can see all the photos of when the car was auctioned off at the Car Crash Auction website. It looks like driver's side front damage, a bit of rear damage, and all the airbags have gone as well. So if I was still interested in this car, I'd know exactly where to look. And just to show you what a good report looks like, here's a report on my M3. All green lights at the top, all the mileage graph, all lines up, and there's no reports of it being damaged. So to check your car, a friend's car, or a car that you're potentially about to buy, you can do by clicking the link in the description box below. And if you use my link, you're gonna save yourself a nice bit of cash as well. Okay, we're on, and it is one o'clock in the morning. We've done it in time for half eight the next morning at least. But we're now going to lower this thing down and the chances of this being the right height off the go is very slim. But we've got our fingers crossed that look is on our side. Chances, Liam, of it being bang on? Absolutely no chance. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh my God. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. It could be, the, it could be that that's holding it up. 
No, it's definitely oh, not. <laughs> Front load's perfect. Back. We. <laughs> Hi! Okay, small adjustments. We'll be back. This should never have took this long. It's basically taken, it's, it's probably taken us about an hour to lower it at the back and we're really hoping it's, we effectively have to take apart all the suspension to do it. It's gonna look good. <laughs> please, please. I think it's okay. I think it's good. It I think it's good. good. From our side. It looks good. It looks lower better from our side. So that's that's cool. looking good. Clearance is looking good. I think we've smashed it just in time to head to Mallory Performance. It's like it's two in the morning, yeah, right? it is lit. It's 10 to 2 in the morning. Wow. This thing is about to rattle Mallory performance. It's gonna be so loud. Stock power on the C63 is 451 horsepower with 442 foot-pounds of torque. This one's got about 50,000 miles on the clock and it's had a pretty hard life. So we'll see how it gets on on the first run. We gotta do, we gotta run it first. Phil gets the logs from it and then it can tune it from them, but Phil's actually said that even though these are naturally aspirated, they still can make half decent power. So fingers crossed, we can see what we can get. Let's send it. Let's get it. Yeah, because I'm a bit, yeah, I've got my seatbelt on. <laughs> oh, please work. Come on, C63. mile an hour and then it just stopped so we got a limiter on it so I've got a feeling Phil might take that off <laughs> yeah. 463 463 not bad it's a healthy car touch wood, <laughs> touch wood. Sure. on the standard run the C63 makes 463 horsepower and 625 newton meters of torque let's see what happens after a tune Round two. Look at the graph! Oh, that's the loudest car we've had! Oh, 522 brake! An NA non-turbo car just made 522 horsepower so that's like an extra 60 bhp more out of an la i don't know how we did that i don't know how phil has done that and little does anybody know but phil is about to be my brother-in-law i'm not even talking rubbish oh, so, <laughs> this is good for all of us not only me but also for you guys as well because that means i get family discount now and so do you by using the code matt10 when you come to malibu performance to get a nice little discount on your remaps you get discounts mate. so now with 60 bhp more power it's time to see what that feels like when we take it on the road First off, check the dashboard. We now have no more faults apart from a fuel light. <laughs> but that's just that's just what it's like in a C63. But what does a C63 
drive light, which is 520 bhp with no faults. Well, we're about to find out. <laughs> that noise should not be coming out of a four door saloon car. Is that good? I think I hit my head. <laughs> that is really, twice. This should not be rear wheel drive. It's dangerous. I can see why somebody binned this last time. Okay, one more. <laughs> it was worth the wait rebuilding this car. It is absolutely next level, and I bet it sounds insane from the outside. <laughs> so, after all of that rebuilding over about a year now. It has to go back to Mercedes. Check this letter out. So we received this letter the other day for a recall for the front passenger side airbag, which have we of course replaced. So now the Mercedes has got to go back to Mercedes to have a new airbag on the passenger side. The list of things is never ending for this car, but I'm hoping that should be the final thing with this C63. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Oh, how many times am I gonna be pulled over in this?